Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I guess we are live right now for the second week of Cold Refinery. I'm Enrico Gleria. I'm a staff scientist at Alt University. And today we will uncover and discover many issues and ways to solve them when it that are basically related to reproducibility of your work. But before diving into the actual topic, with me here, there is also Samantha Vicke. And do you want to introduce yourself, Samantha? Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Samantha. I work uh, as a geoinformatics specialist at CSC in Finland. And um, I'll be teaching together with Enrico today the reproducible research and then tomorrow documentation lesson. And I'm very excited for this. We have pasted, we have written a couple of icebreakers because, you know, as usual, we will start at the hour, but we still have six minutes for, you know, a bit of soft question. And I really like the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I still haven't, <laughs> haven't decided, although I, I guess I've, I should have figured it out by now. But then maybe, Samantha, if I can ask you the first question. So the first question is saying computer programs are expected to produce the same output for the same inputs. Have you experienced that, you know, is that always true for research software? Mm -hmm. have, you, have, you, have you experienced some of kind of, you know, anomalies where the same output was giving you different, or the same input was giving you different outputs? Yeah, I've actually, when I read this second point here that someone wrote there, I've experienced the very same thing, that uh, the same software and the same data produce different results on different computers. So you could really choose like, oh, what results do I want today? <laughs> so you went on that computer and you said, oh, that's not so good results. So you went on the next one and checked it. But yeah, then it's, of course, better to try to figure out why that is the case. And um yeah what's actually happening. Have you experienced such? Yeah, I wouldn't say daily, but but in general, <laughs> the struggle, not just my struggle, but at least also with the people that I'm, they were trying to help in our work is, is, is exactly this, that, you know, you might inherit some tools, some software and some input data, and you're expected to reproduce the same, but it just doesn't work. And for those who just connected and maybe for those who started this week, what we are sharing right now is the so-called collaborative notes document, which you should also have in your email. And you can basically edit what you see so that you can add your experience with, um, with um, reproducibility issues or in general with this, uh, as someone wrote there, with the randomness that might be involved. And that sometimes can be mitigated as we will show today. But then maybe the most difficult question of the day is, Samantha, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Did you, have you decided already? Or Oh, I, I could never decide, even as a small child. I, like every day there was something new and it's still going on. Like every day there is something new I want to be. Like tomorrow I want to be this, tomorrow I want to be that. So it's always changing. But the, here also, the second point, I like that. Someone who likes his job and spend time with family, that sounds really good yeah. <laughs> as a goal. How about you? Yeah, I think that, I don't know, I believe that most of the people listening are somewhat working in academia. And usually the academic, you know, kind of career path is that you will become a professor, PI, or or whatever, but I'm glad that I didn't take that route, and I'm glad that many of the people here did not take that route, because it's, it's you know, well, not only for the difficulty that, you know, it's it's impossible to, to, to get everyone a professorship, it's just, you know, there's not enough places for that, but in general, I truly believe that science is a collective work which you might have already experienced last week when we were doing this um, Git pool, Git for collaborative working. Science is, is, should be a collaborative work. So it's good that there are professors, but there should also be research software engineers and, and other researchers with a certain specific expertise. So in, in general, I'm happy with what I'm doing, that I'm part of, you know, I, I don't need to be this academic standard career track. But I'm happy, you know, that I can still help science and contribute to science and 
help other other researchers. But yeah, for the people at home, if you feel free to test this collaborative notes document. I can also briefly show you again uh, how that works. So you can find up here in the top this uh, pen symbol, which changes this to uh, markdown view. So then you can fill in your answers here and we can all see it. And then when you're not editing the document, can go back to view mode, looks a bit nicer and you can follow what's going on here. And we will add um, some more discussions and questions during the next two hours also here. So keep this open and uh, be ready to answer something. And then of course, if you have any questions to any of the topics that we will be discussing today, put the questions here and we have a few people also in the background, in addition to us instructors here that will answer to the best of our abilities. And then, yeah. of course, you can also find the archived questions and answers also from last week on the course um, homepage. Exactly. And of course, as as you did last week, or if you haven't, as you will do today, you can ask anything. Meaning that if there are leftover questions from last week related to, to what we cover with the Git version control, feel free to ask them here. So there's, the yeah, there's still one minute to go. I guess we are fine. I believe that the sound is okay. Let me briefly check if yes. the people on the other side, yeah, they're saying that the sound is balanced, loud and clear. If that changes also let us know. So the... Samantha, what will be the material of the day? Do we, I guess we have a dedicated web page from the... um yes so um if you want to follow the materials that we will be showing here during the next two hours you can find this on the course web page this looks a bit weird because it's so squeezed but this is the course web page where we have the schedule and if you go all the way down to day four you can find here reproducible research and if you click that link you will end up in our um, lesson material for the next two hours and you can follow along there and maybe we can also put that link in the collaborative document yeah we can do so that right. you can find it more easily it's 10 o'clock and maybe since you already have the pages open there would you like to start with this kind of you know what are the learning outcomes for 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 this 